Okay, Sandra from Scraps of Beauty. I refreshed, so let me know if you guys can see me. Can you guys see me? I'm looking. Hold on. Chat. Um. Yes, you can see me now. Good. Okay. <laughs> oh, poor Dawn. Oh, she hurt herself. She fell. Oh, so sorry. All right, we have a lot to do, and I have a couple announcements. So let me put this away. I hit the recording, so we're good with that. And so let's see. The first thing I want to do is show you I'll show you what I've done so far, and I, I have to apologize that I am almost finished with this album, so I will not be here next week, unfortunately. It's our birthday weeks, and my husband has something planned, and my birthday's the 17th, and then it's my daughter's on the 20th, and then his on the 23rd, so I will not be here next week, which is the 15th. But I think Ashley said she might stream for me, so be sure to check Facebook for that, and um, hopefully she'll stream during my time. Um, so I'll come back on the 22nd, and we will start our Christmas tree project. So what I'm going to do is on the 15th, which is my next week, I'm going to make a blog post. And what I'm going to do, um, since I kind of took liberty and really went, kind of off the border of Halloween because I did, did my zombie um, pictures. So what I'm going to do is you'll check my blog next week and it's almost a year. I started streaming November 7th I think it was. So I'm going to do my blog anniversary next week. So be sure to check the blog, leave a comment and what I'm going to do is I am going to make a cauldron mini out of the paper that I have left over and someone, I'll pick on the 22nd, I'll pick the names from those of you who comment. And um, I will have a couple prizes. This will be one. Um, I cut some extra, too many of these. So I'll probably give away a mini of this and the PDF and probably one other thing. So make sure next week that you go to my blog. And I'll, um, those of you watching the recording too, you can go to my blog, leave a comment on the 15th. Thank you, Dawn. Scraps to Beauty by Zandra. And um, I will leave it up all the way until the following Tuesday, which is the 21st. So you'll have a whole week to leave a comment to try to uh, win something. So that's your little treat, Halloween treat um, for me. Um, and I am going to try to get better. Um, that's why I'm taking a longer time with this Christmas tree so I can actually sit there and work through the whole project so that you can see it. But tonight I did pretty much all of it except for about, I want to say probably about four or five pages. But I'll show you tonight what um, I did and then hopefully we'll finish. And then I can, um, we can go ahead and do some embellishments and stuff. So this is the beginning. Oh, here it is. These are the extras. So I did cut some extra paper that I didn't need. So I'll include that in the mini as well. So... You still have no picture. You have a picture now, Dawn? Oh, you have a picture. Okay. Made it back. Okay. So be sure to check my blog next week and leave a comment to win for your chance to win. So, so now I found this book using this method, and that these are were five inches by two and a quarter, and I also used five inches by two and a half. And I really have to tell you, I like doing the individual pages. Because sometimes you have some pages that are thicker, have more embellishments than the other. Hi, Linda. Your husband's birthday, the 23rd. Linda, give me your address. I have something to send you. Um, so make sure you give me your address. I don't have your address. Um, so I really like this method because you can um, switch. You could do like thick pages, thin pages. So as you're putting it together, see how I have um, half inch and then quarter inch, and it prevents that alligator mouth binding. So this is what I'll show you. So see here, I have um, quarter inch, and this one's just a little bit 
bigger than quarter inch and then I'm going to put the pages together with you tonight and then I put um, oops we're going to add these pages here which are quarter inch and half inch so yeah just send it to me on my um, on my blog if you don't have my email I think you do have my email though but um, so let me take you through what I finished and you guys know I went to the zombie walk this weekend which is fun it really rained most of the day but then by hmm, two o'clock it really cleared up and the Sun came out it was really nice so this is our front cover I did punch a hole in here because um, I put a little ring I don't have to get you closer and then what I plan on doing to close this um, to close this book I'm going to use one of these little fangs so it'll go in here like this and then the chain will come around to the back and I'll close it with that so I punched a little hole and so now this is our first oh I have to put more glue on this I've opened this a couple of times so I'll have to re redo it so we're going to show you how to do the broom tonight and then what I did was and then to make this moon let me just show you real quick what I did all I did was I took um, paper and I traced here and then I flipped it over and then traced it again and that's how you're gonna get your your moon like I did and I just did it on the yellow piece of paper and then it's got some um, vellum yeah so you'll get a, um, for next week I'll include the gate too in the um, free album for um, whoever wins that so you'll get everything here and probably about the same amount of pages and I will put a clear page in there too because I uh, did do a clear page in here so and then I did cut out the um, member last week I had written enter if you dare but I really like this I think it goes better so I did that so then this lifts up and then there's the moon so I could journal here if I want and then I really like this so somehow I'm going to put this in here and flip it over it was from paper house and it actually had like um, a, uh, one of those houses haunted houses on it but I didn't want to throw that away so I'm definitely going to use this on here and flip this up so this is um, Gabby you guys see me talk about Gabby um, and then I have each part I put a pocket every one I put a side pocket so you can either add more pictures or Let's the papers. Yes, tonight um, when I finish, um, the I will tell Barry, and you guys already know that we use um, arsenic and lace from Echo Park. And then I'll show you, we've done two projects with that. We did the frame that we used the Frankenstein, and now I've done this whole book. And then I have a few pages left over, and I'm going to do some Halloween cards that you'll be able to see on Scrappa's blog. So then um, this one flips. And then last week, you remember, we did our coffin. So I added the zombie, and you guys probably can't see, but this is like um, webbing, and it's glow-in-the-dark webbing, so it's kind of green. And then um, what I did was I added a magnet, so it closes. And you remember who this is, Dar. I love this picture of her, so I put her in there. <laughs> and so the magnet is in here, so it just flips right close and then I didn't fill this out yet but I have to put more pictures in here so that goes like that and then I did add some um, glitter it's hard to see stickles this side you could see that I didn't add any and then this side you can see there are um, crystal stickles that I use there so that closes up like that I really wanted to put something here but you guys know I love this heart shaped um, web here so I might just put like a, a label or something down in here but I didn't want to cover that up so <laughs> hi Darcy <laughs> um, and then here's my clear page you know I did one of my paper towel trees which I love I had to put that in here and then of course the um, the moss and then this was from um, paper house they had this um, beware of zombies so I actually put that in there and then this um, whoops then the next page so this is still clear so you can see you can see the tree behind here and um, I covered it up most for the most part and then what I did was I just added um, I flipped this up so this actually can come out so it slides in and out this is another picture of um, one of the girls that were at the zombie walk and this is Dorothy and the scarecrow and then Alice I could have done a paper this one doesn't want to stay um, I could have done a paper Alice but um, 
I just didn't have time. So I just, I had these, so I figure I would just go ahead and do this one. So, and then, like I said, I'm going to put some type of border. I'll cut some type of border, but all of the um, pockets come out. It has a slot. And then for this one, I took the spider web um, stencil that I have, and I just outlined it with pencil, and then I went over it with, um, thanks, Linda. <laughs> oh, you figured out a chat on your phone. That's good. Um, so um, I added the, um, the stickles, and I really like that. It really adds to the, the page. So, and then I like the zombie survival kit that I have in her hand. <laughs> so, so that was one page. Now, this is the page we're going to work on tonight. And this is um, Snow White and Belle. So, um, so we'll do this page tonight. And I have both the dress. I have to find where my Snow White dress. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Um, oh, yeah, here it is. So, remember, I started these last week. I kind of showed them to you. This also would be great for Disney. So I have this one on this side. We're just going to make a pocket. I really think I'd like to have these pictures bigger so that I could slip a 4 by 6 in here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So we're just going to make these girls um, pockets. And then this is Belle, but I didn't get a chance to put her face on there. So, so we'll work on that tonight. And then the next page. So it also has the uh, mat that comes in and out. And this is the page you saw on Facebook. This is my zombie bride that we did last week. And then um, I had these little frames. They're just the sticker frames. And then I put her zombie pictures. This is kind of like I call her the prom queen. Like she was a prom queen. And then um, that. And then this is my little frog. It's peeking underneath the hat there. Um, and then uh, this is just one of Tim's mirror, um, mirror paper. And then what I did was I took a bat and then I just took this out. And then you could see there is the bride and the groom in the picture. So, and then um, I was, I tried to look for my rub-ons. I had Tim Holtz's rub-ons. I really wanted to put a skeleton on there and I'll find it and I'll put it on there. But, um, but I put, just put the mirror in there. So you could see there's the, the mirror and it just flips out. <laughs> Frog, yes, my little frog. <laughs> so, and then there's another mat here. I'm gonna put one in this one. So this should go in here like this. Oh, this one I glued tight because we had to put the mirror on one. So there is no pocket on this side, but there is a pocket on this side. And I couldn't decide what I wanted to do with these pages, so we'll have to decide if we have time what to do with these. Where's my little slit in here? So that slides in there like that. And like I said, I'll cut these down and do that. So um, I haven't decided if I wanted to cut this out yet and then slip the picture in there. So we could decide that tonight when we get going. Um, and then this page, we are going to add our bats. And then that will connect this page onto here. And then the book will be completely finished. But what I did was... On the last two pages, that's these two. Hi, Chess. Um, I added Tim Spider here. And then remember, I made these paper flowers a while ago. And then um, I love this picture. This was from last year, this little girl. She was um, Wednesday from the Adams family. So I flipped this um, up. And then you can see her here. And then this opens up like this so that I could journal, whatever. Oh, thank you. You're gelling, uh, as, as Dar would say. <laughs> and then I wrote the little poem, the stickers there, and then I colored this with my Pro markers. Didn't come out cute. I love the way that um, they look. The Adams Family. They retired this. It was a digi stamp, um, and they don't have it anymore. But and then this. Remember our little box that we colored. This is one of those um, Prima boxes. I cut the. Um, you know how they are. Four little squares or six little squares I actually cut with my Tim Holtz scissors cut this out this one to make it big and so you can see now the bat flies around here I added a witch's broom one of Tim's curiosity um, and I colored that with his paint and then I added the little bottles and some charms that I had in there then I broke up one of those skeletons from the dollar store added that and then can you see the little ballerina head I used as a topper on there 
and Harry Potter's um, glasses. So I did that and then added a skull and then in here is the little scrolls in the um, the bottle and then I have Snow White's little book and her apple of course it's got the poison apple of course she needs Jack Beans uh, magic beans in there <laughs> hi Ash and then um, there's little red riding hood so and then the eyes back here actually wiggle so I don't know if you could see them but they wiggle up and down and I added the little the little ghost inside there so it came out really cute. Um, so these cute, you know, if you put, I have like four or five more. So I'm thinking about doing a little uh, collage like and adding them on. So, but I really like the way it came out. It's really cute. And then this is a little cup and it looks like it's foaming with all the um, poisoning coming through there. <laughs> Hi, Marilyn. <laughs> So that's that. And then, oh, and then this is a paper that I used. Um, you know, it's got the wood grain. Scrappy Dabba Doo has this. Um, Catherine used it for her picnic basket. Not her picnic. Her box. Her thing. I forget what you call it. But she also used it too. And um, I like the way. This was the white. And then I just colored it with the vintage photo. And um, that wood grain paper. It's the same one I used in the Christmas tree base. I did the same exact thing. So, and then on the back, this is the part where it sticks out here, the, the wood frame. So, I already added some texture on here, and I um, gessoed it all black. And so, tonight, I can't really spray because I don't want it to go all over these pages. So, I have these little bottles, and I have to use them up. So, we're just going to um, add that on here now and let it dry, and then we'll put this book together. So, let's do that first. But I think it came out pretty cute. And then for the binding, when you see here, I think I'm just going to add some um, cheesecloth and then it adds a couple spiders on here. So I think it would be cute. I really wanted to do one of Ashley's spiders that ran across, but I just couldn't, couldn't get it to work in there. There's just so much stuff in there. And then like I said, um, any of these pockets that I have, you can use the... Oh, let me tell you about the PDF. So where I have pockets, you know, you can use any of the witches mats that I have. They'll fit in this book, so you could use that. You can use Tim's pumpkin. You can use that in there. Of course, our little guys, our creature guys. So that's in the PDF file. I'll show you what else. So that's available on my blog now, and I'll show you exactly what it has. And so since I use this more as a zombie book instead of a Halloween book, when I do the cauldron, I will add all of this in the cauldron book. And if you buy the PDF file, I will also give you the shape of the cauldron book. And you can bind it the same way that I bound this book, just with these strips here. So let me show you what's included in that. Jenny did a great job doing it for me, so I have to thank her. So here is the witch's boot. You get that. You'll get Frankenstein. This is his um, hair, his pants, his jacket. His sleeve is here, and the little lapel, his uh, shoes. And you only have one, so you'd have to flip it over to get the, um, the right or the left um, shoe. And then these are the princess's dresses, so you'll have that. This is the one that I did on the front cover with the bat wings and her hat. I also did a little cat and tail. So if you, if you just wanted to um, die cut, if you have the die cut of the Julie Netting dolls, you could just die cut her all in a black outfit and add the, um, the tail and the, the little ears. And so you'd have a cat. And then there's the little bolt for Frankenstein. And then this is a little flourish, which I used in... I think I use that in my cauldron book to make a pocket. So let's see if it's in this one. No. It's in. So it's here. So you would just use it like this. It's just little ghosts, and I put little eyes on it, and then just made a pocket so that they could go behind here. And I'll use that in my cauldron book, too, so you guys can see that. Um, so that's the first page. You'll get three pages. Well, you actually get four now when I put the cauldron in there, too. So that's the first page. Then the second page is our shapes of our mummy, the Dracula, and Frankenstein. 
I also gave you um, the fang tooth for him. And then these are pirates, in case you're doing a boy. Um, so there's a captain's um, pirate outfit and like a, a mate, you know, how they have that. So, and that's the sword and the cummerbund, and then you would just add the pants. So that's the second page. Then the third page is, if you don't have the stamps, or you're really not interested in buying the stamps, because you're just doing it for this one project, I hand drew all of these, so that you can go ahead and add, this is the dress, and this is um, from Frozen, Elsa, and, what's the other girl, Anna? Anna? So, um... And you can use these for princesses. You know, you can use them for Snow White or Belle. And then I gave you Dracula. I gave you a wizard. So you could cut this hair off. It could be a boy wizard or a girl wizard, Harry Potter, whatever you want. Also, I gave you a little um, devil outfit, too, if you wanted to do that. So you have quite a bit in this PDF. And then, like I said, I'll have the shape of the cauldron. So it's $7. And you can just contact me um, through my blog, and um, we can take care of it there. So, all right, so on to this. So, and then I also, brought, I um, remember I promised to show you how to do these. So, I'll also show you that tonight. First, let's color this real quick so that we could dry it. Well, I see they put the time back in there. That's nice. Let me plug in my key gun. And let me get out this. So since I don't want to make a big mess and I don't want it to, um, I need some paper towels. Where are my paper towels? Mm -hmm. I'll just get them all done. So I'm going to stick this under. Hopefully it won't mess up these pages, I hope. We'll see. But I wanted you to get the effect because if I just did it, you wouldn't really get to see how cool it looks. So, so let's do that. I need a paintbrush. And I'm going to go in with this olive color. And I have um, coral and some lavender. So I think I'll go in with the green first. I'm just going to really push it around because, like I said, I don't want it to get on the other pages. So we'll see how it works. And I need my spray. I would use the Prima sprays, but it sprays so much that I'm really afraid that it'll go on my other pages. And I do have to use this stuff up. I just can't let it sit around. So let's see what, how it works. And I'm going to um, lift this up a little, I think. It's, so it tilts up. So it actually slants down a little like that. And we'll have to dry it each time a little bit. Oh, I need some water. Let's squirt some water in here. I wanted to bring a little cup up and I forgot to bring a cup up, so I'll just have to stick it in here. So let me get my gun.
we have that. Oh, it's a little purple. I'm not going to worry too much about it really doing the middle because I'm going to put a picture there. I like this one because it has like a silvery um, effect to it. New stream keeps booting you, Lane. Oh no. Let's add some purple up in here. Just heat dry this. Usually, I would put this all on there, and I would use um, some seam binding and um, use up the color that way. But for tonight, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do a little of this orange. It smells like it's overheating for some reason. And then we'll do some of this. And then I'll just go back in with the green just a little bit. I do have some white too, though. So we'll see how that works. Well, doing a number on you too. You have bad weather. So I think we'll do have a little white. Let's see what that looks like. And then we'll go back and I think with a little bit more green. Oh, night, Mama. 
bad weather. I'm just going to spread this around a little. I think I just want to put a little bit more green and then we'll be good. Let's just dry that. A little bit more green and then we'll call it then I'll bring it up close so you can see how it it looks it's it's really nice it's really nice and shiny I think that's good. Spray that a little. Get rid of this. What's the nice thing too is if I had wanted to add on, I could go ahead with that binding but just keep adding and adding. So I'll save this page to do after. Let's see if I did okay. Yep, nothing else on those two pages, so that works good. I just want to get rid of some of this extra paint that's on here. All right, so we're going to let that dry some more, and then we're going to do our um, Snow White pages. And I do have um, my bats, so I'll show you that too. God, my chat looks sounds like it's frozen. Are you guys still there? It looks like it's frozen. So now remember, this is Tim's um, bell jar. So I cut this with acetate. Let's see minutes how much a lag does she have. Um, right now it says 845. So I don't know how big the lag is. I have 845 on mine. Is the lag that big? Four minutes? That seems pretty big. 
So what you're going to do is, um, oh, I have to plug in. Hold on, I got to get you guys plugged in. There we go. I'm on, I'm on, yes. Must be way back in time. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird because it says right now like it's 846. So I don't know if that's a big lag or not. So, you know, there's two sides to this acetate. So I'm going to take both sides off. <coughs> Excuse me. So I can show you. So now this is what it looks like. It's just clear. And you could put that on there like that. Then I, what I usually do is I take um, white stays on. That's really the only thing that you can um, use with the acetate. And just rub that on there. Now you could use rub-ons on this. I was looking for my Tim Holtz um, rub-ons. Of course, I had them last week and I can't find them now. <laughs> so I'll just use some other rub-ons to show you. Oh, I have a stamp. I will have a Tim Holtz rub-on, but since I don't have it, I'm just going to use this stamp. And I don't mind so much if it doesn't come out all the way because um, it is supposed to be kind of scary. So, 845, 846, so it must be only like a minute. Why does this say like the battery is not uh, in? Hold on a second, maybe I'm not plugged in. I should be plugged in. Hold on. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, now you guys are plugged in. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is put this on. This is the first time I'm using this stamp, so I really want to um, try it first. And that's fine. So I'm actually going to put this on here and rub it. So I don't want the whole skull. Maybe on the top there. There, and can you see what a great image it is? So you can use any um, stamp on these, and when you put this on here like this, it makes a really cute, um, a cute embellishment. So, and you can also do um, just that on a piece of paper, and then paint it, and then add glossy accents. Um, <coughs> so that's one way to do it. Then the other way is um, I used. Um, gel medium on the back so I, sp I paint it with gel medium first and it, since it's plastic you do have to let it dry like I had to let it dry pretty much one night just for the gel medium and then one night once I put the um, crackle distress on there so in that this is what this looks like if you just try to put the crackle distress on there it's going to just chip off so you can see now how it looks like a cracked glass. It's a really cool effect and it's not going to come off. You can rub your finger on here and the back will not come off. Where if you just did crackle distress on here and you did that, it's going to flake off. So you definitely need the gel medium just so that it has something to hold on to. So, so you can use that. You could even do the crackle over this if you really wanted to. <coughs> Let's see, I'll put it on the back here. So see there? Let me see if I can show you. So now it looks like cracked glass on there. Yeah. Yeah, though, yeah, I think the Close to My Heart Daisy White is the best, but it stays on the only one for plastic. But see how cool that is? So I think maybe we'll use that. We'll see. I was thinking of either putting my picture on the back or using this. So we'll see how it works. 
and I'm just going to glue this with um, glossy accents together. So I'll just glue it across the top. Of course, this is stuck. I wanted to use this one to fill up. Mine is getting low, so. So just remember that if you do want to use this crackling effect, you do need to put some type of gel medium in the back of it. And since this is going to um, go on this part of this half, I can go pretty heavy with the glossy accents on the bottom. And it's going to dry clear anyway. And that will take a while to dry. Then I can just put score tape at the bottom here. And I can either do the silver or I also just took um, plain chipboard. Um, this is just plain chipboard and I just went over it with vintage photo. So I could use either one of them. I kind of like that one better. So we'll let that dry and maybe we'll put that on the back cover. So we'll stick that over there. And then um, I wanted to show you the bats. So this is um, a Spellbinders bats, and we're going to put this as a part of our pocket. So um, all I did was I ran this through the cuddle bug, and then I'm going to take um, some Gilder's paste. This one's antique gold. And then, oh, there it is. And then I love the way how this, you can see it's just all nice and black now. And then once we just go over it with this, it's so cool. I love the way that turns out. So there it is. See? Oh, we need the medium one. Let's see if I have the medium one. Because I'm going to put small, medium, and a large. Thanks, Lane. It does. It does. Um, I just love the way it looks. It just kind of looks antique-ish, and I think it's great for a Halloween book. And then you can put it as dark or as much as you want on there. So. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Vigana. I just love this technique. Just and it, just black with this um on top. It just it just looks so cool. Okay, so we have our bats ready. And I'm just gonna outline them with a little black. And then I like to bend up the and like curl them a little bit.
In the UK, you treasure the gold. <laughs> I just love the way that looks. Gosh, what time is it there, Darcy? It must be late. I like the patina one, too. That's one of my favorites, too. I have that one. Okay. So there we go. So our bats are done. So we can put this away. We have that done. That. Oh, and the bottles. Let me show you um, his bottles. I also did... Come on, this is one I already finished. If you didn't want to use the crackle, so you could see how this, let me open one of these clear ones. So this is his um, apothe apothecary <laughs> jars. Um, I think Scrappa had them on sale this week. Um, so this is how it's clear. So you can see that's clear. And then this is with Tim's film strip. See how it makes it look frosty? So it is... And that's another way you could um, do the jars with the acetate if you didn't want to do the glaze or if you didn't want to wait and you wanted to use it right away. The one that's frosted film, I just cut a piece of that and then just put it on the back with that. And then um, I'm just going to ink the um, edges with this. If I had my black stays on, I would probably do it in black. But... So that's another way you could um, color your jars. And you can also go ahead and just put um, white gesso on them. White gesso and then um, color them and leave the middle open and attach something to the middle. So Permanent? Yes, it's, uh, once it dries, it's permanent. Yes, it's permanent. Stays on as permanent ink. It does take a, a little bit to dry, not much. But yeah, but that's the only thing that you can use on the acetate. So, so there's three different ways you can use, leave it clear. You could also do alcohol inks, which I thought I had one up here to show you. But you could color this with alcohol inks on the bottom to make like there was some liquid in there. Or like I said, you could do the crystal, um, this part here to make it look crackle and old. Or you could use Tim's film either way. No, not the ink. I was talking about the... Oh, the gilding wax. Um, it does become permanent. I think you just have to buff it. And after um, a while, it is. 24 hours, it will fully, fully dry. 24, uh, not 24, 12 hours, sorry. 12 hours. And then it's fully dry. So I'll go back and then I'll buff that up. But so just a few things that you could do with your um, acetate. All right, so let's get going. So we still have another hour, so that's good. So we can go ahead and decorate these. So where's our book? So I think this is pretty dry. So I want to go ahead and connect these now. Oh, I thought I inked this one. I have to ink this. So now in order to make these pockets, I'll show you what I do. And I'll need my white gel pen for this. I just take my mat and my white gel pen is... So you're going to take your mat and you're going to um, just outline this where it's going to, where the pocket will be. So we'll do it on that side and this side. So now when you put your glue, you're going to put your glue all above this part and down in here, not in this area so that you can slide your mat in and out of there. Okay. 
So the first thing I'm going to do first is add the pictures. I mean, add the add this piece to here. So the best way I do it is take the tape off. And then the best way for me to do it, if I could show you, I it's I don't have it like lined up with this, which probably would have been easier if I did, but I go probably it's a little less than a quarter inch. So that's where I kind of judge where I'm going to put this one. And then I just stick it down. Make sure I have it. Oops. And then you want to make sure you burnish it really well. So there we go. So now we have our book. So the nice thing is that it stands up, which is great, because you could fan this out and stick it on your table, So which is really nice. Mm -hmm. Who makes the bat die? It's Spellbinders. It's a Spellbinders one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and glue our pages we just did down so I'm going to take the glue off take this off and then I'm going to run um, a close speed of glue along the binding here just so it doesn't get stuck the mat And then I'm going to take it just above that line where we I do like a quarter of an inch away. And you don't want to do any in the pocket area there. Oh, of course I did the did I do the wrong side? No, I did the right side. <laughs> right, yeah. And then I'm just going to line it up. And then make sure I go away from the um, from this side so the glue doesn't come into the mat. And then on the bottom I go down. So you want to go up and then down. So then we should have no problem getting our mat in and out. And we don't. Sometimes you have to check like right in here. It's fine. And what I do is I'll take my um, anything really and just slide this down just a little bit because sometimes that glue does seep up. So it should be fine. So now we have another pocket. And I always include pockets because I never know if I ever want to add something or not. So we have that one done and let's get the other side done. <clears throat> and again, we're going to take this. Let me move my little bottles out of the way here. Give me a little more room. Where I put the Christmas tree tonight, I had to like clear that whole area off, so it was like oh, a chore. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do the same thing. We'll put a bead of glue down here. And again, just up in here. Oops, off camera. So you don't want to go right up to that line, like a quarter of an inch away. So then we're going up here, make sure it lines up. And then you're going to push the glue up. 
going to push it down. You're back, hi, Barry. <laughs> you're back. I wonder why you're not modded. I have you as a mod, but you don't come up mod. <coughs> 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 So again, then we have our pocket in here. Just check that it fits. It does. So we're good. Where's my top? Is it my top? There it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this a pocket. So I'm going to stick my bats like this. So I'm only going to put glue just on the one side. Actually, I'm going to use a pop dot because I want the wings to be like folded. <coughs> I'll just do the glue on that tip there. <coughs> So I'm going to glue this part, oh you can't see, I'm going to glue this part and this part here so that it stays, um, so that we can put um, stuff in here. So just here, along the top here, along this, and just right in here. Actually it's too far up. And then on this one, I'm just going to glue just this side. <clears throat> and then just this. So now we can put a big 4 by 6 photo in here and it'll stay and we can add one or two, two mats on this side. And then for this side I wanted to add my bottles so we'll see. I'm going to probably add them like this but I want to do the Snow White pages so if we have time I'll come back and do, and do this side. But I'm also just going to make it a pocket. Oh, I'm off camera. Why is that? So I'm going to add my bottles on this side. And I'm just going to glue this right in the corner, and then this will be a pocket as well on this side. So I'll have enough for two big 4 by 6 photos in here. So let's get to our Snow White pages, which we want to do. And again, like I don't know what I want to do with this page yet, so I haven't glued this one down. I'm not really sure. I did do my little um, book that I might put in here. I don't see. And all I did was I just took um, washi tape. And then I left these all open too in case I want to add some tags or something. And then I just added some photos in here. This was um, from the zombie walk. There's that one. Some of you saw these on my blog. There's this one. And then there's that one. <laughs> so, so I still have pictures to add on there too still. So, and this was our bride one. So we did that. I love the way the mirror jumps out. So um, we could put some rub-ons and um, decorate the sides of it if we choose to, but I love the way that that came out. And with the little bat sticking out, looks cute. So here we go on to our Snow White pages and Belle pages. So it really came out good, didn't you see? She was really good. She actually made, they actually made the paper, and the paper they do put some of them in there, and uh, it was cool. And there, here I am with them. <laughs> I had a wig. I went to the flea market and got a two dollar wig, so it worked perfect. Just black and white. They're not friends. Nope, they're just random people. You just go up to them and you just say, "Can I take your picture?" And they, that's what they want. <laughs> 
So yeah, so all these people, um, I don't know anybody. <laughs> the only one I do know is, uh, well, I don't really know her, but I was shocked when, let me see if I can find my picture. Um, I was shocked last year. I um, I took this picture. Remember Catherine did the, um, did the layout with me, and she had the little zombie baby. So last year she was with um, like a bride and she had like a gas mask on and that was her little baby. Actually, I found her this year and where's my pictures? There's this guy. He was there. Free healings. He was given free healings. <laughs> There's this one with me and these two guys here. <laughs> um, then these are, oh, these are really gory. I don't like the gory ones. I really like... Um, I really like like the character ones and stuff like that. And here's the girl that had the baby from last year. So I wind up getting another picture, another picture with the um, with the baby. <laughs> so last year was dressed up like a little um, a baby, and this year was like I don't know, more like a farmer or something. <laughs> so so I had that one. I love the geisha girl. That one was cool. She was pretty cute. The Geisha Girl. And then I love these guys. They were kind of like steampunkish. So that was them. And then these were, I can't, I don't know the characters. I'm I trying to think with the black and the red and white. I'm thinking it's like the girls or something. I'm not really sure the characters are them. And then I think this was some, I don't know. I want to say California. What is that? 80120 or whatever it was. I think that was that. <laughs> and these are three Amigas. <laughs> That was them. And then I love these cup this couple here. They were really good. <laughs> and they love posing for you. It's so funny. And of course this was the Kentucky Fried Chicken and Wendy. <laughs> so so it was pretty cool. Um it gets a little like, I don't know, too much with the scary. And then there are some guys that go around in the full like army gear or police gear. And those guys kind of scare me with the guns. They have like fake guns, but you never know in a big crowd like that. We always get kind of like leery. And so I'm good for one or two hours and then I'm ready to go home. So, <laughs> all right. So we're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to put our pocket. So let's measure our pockets again. I have to really keep putting the top on this. Where's my top? One, well, and I want to make sure to show you how to do the broom because I have everything here for the broom. Oh, do you see my top? Where is it? Here it is. Sometimes you miss New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, they do. We do have some some weird things going on. <laughs> but I like living by the beach. I always love the beach. So we need our gel pen here. So we're going to do the same thing. Draw our lines so we know where to put our mats. Wow, I'm like way off camera tonight. How come I'm not like down? I keep going down. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do the same thing. Tear this off. Make sure this is down. And I want to put my glue. Again, I'm going to put the glue just on the edge here. And then again on this side. What happened? <laughs> you would not do well at that kind of event. I don't think you would, Dawn. <laughs> Even my daughter gets kind of like freaked out, especially if there's too many of those guys with those scary guns. You just never know.
They have no respect for the mop, really? <laughs> so I'll make sure to push this in. Oops, too much. That's why you like the events like that, because you can wear a costume. <laughs> I like getting dressed up for some things, but I don't like putting all that blood and stuff all over here. That's not for me. <laughs> I don't mind the wig. That's, you know, okay. Oops. All right, so then we want to do the other side. What is that, Sophie? TU paper. What does that mean? Oh, you don't like the gory? Me either. I don't like the gory. And what gets ew, too, like, ew, especially like when they put the zipper on their face, like their face is lifting off. Ew, I don't like that stuff. But some of the makeup, I mean, you do have to look at their makeup. It's just like amazing, some of what they do. Oh, thank you, Paper Compulsions. Oh, sorry. <laughs> ah, too much glue. All right, so we have our pages all done now. So that's good. And then, where's my little top? I keep losing that. Like, I don't like this. Like, my husband printed this off the computer. Oh, that's terrible. Snow White. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, there it is. We have, in our town, it's a big town of kids. And the most I've ever had here... Um, well, Sandy, we didn't have anybody come um, for Sandy when we had Hurricane Sandy. And then the year before that, we had 125, 125 kids. All right, so let's see. We have enough. So this fits good. That's good. We have a lot of kids that come in our neighborhood. Okay. So now I'm going to, like I said, I'm just going to make these pockets because I really think I would like to have these pictures bigger, more like four by six. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to make a pocket. So I think I'll put her here. So I'm really just going to glue along here and along the bottom. Oh, and then I have some of, um, where's my other things that I have here? I could have made it easy myself and just did, you know, you could have just buy one of these and do that, but I'd rather do the dolls. <laughs> but I am going to add some of the little character things that are around there. So, let's go ahead, and I'll have to color her hair and all that, but I could still do that. So, let's just go ahead and add her on. Or oh, I think I wanted to add some of this doilies on the back here, just to give it a little interest. So let's do that first. I'm going to put that one there. And then where is my Snow White girl? I mean, my Belle girl. So I think I'll put her there. Oh, I want to do it this way or this way. I think I'm going to do it like this. I'll put Belle first and then I'll put Snow White. And so what I want to do is add some of the doilies on here. So I'm going to cut, I'm only going to do these four, and then I'll cut this off. So 
plant that and then we'll give that a second to dry. Ah, I glued my mat on there. Take that off. Let's cut this. I'll probably go back and stickle these or glossy accent these. <laughs> oh, you live on top of a mound? That's nice, and you miss Halloween. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put her there. I think we need to add let's see, Snow White's here, so we can maybe put one. Maybe I'll add. I want to add some stuff there. So maybe I'll do this one at the top. So let's do that. I'll do this one at the top. Right. Oh, we got a little glue on our dress. All right, so let's cut this one off. fix this one it's my let me just put some glossy accents on this one. Oh, this one doesn't work you know what is I took this off like twice already so so I'll put that on there and then I'll clip it too so I get it to stay We have one little piece left over, so I'll have to see where I'm going to put that piece. We'll see. So I am going to make a pocket out of here, and I still have to put her head on. So this kind of looks more like a bell hairdo. I might have to trim it down a little bit. So let's go ahead and glue this one down. Should I do that one, or should I do this one? Let's see. I could put this one on here, and then I can poof her hair up. Let's use this one.
All right. And I'm going to do a pocket with Snow White. Where does she go? There she is. So we're going to do this. So I'm going to add a little bit on her hair. A little bit on her hair, on her dress, and all along the bottom. I need to move my camera up or it's weird my camera tonight. It's kind of crooked. What happened here? <laughs> you guys didn't tell me you're like crooked. <laughs> All right, so we have her down and then we're going to put Bell down. So we'll put that like this. So I'm going to put just a little here. So now I'll be able to add these pictures in here like that, but I want to make them bigger. So stick them in there, stick that one in there, and let's add some of her little characters. So let's see, what do I have? This little title up here. Oh, a little birdie stuck. What is that? Snow White. It wasn't all her little jewels. birds here. And I can put one down in here. Ah, where'd it go? I guess I better put this down with glossy gloss accents. I keep losing my little lid tonight. There it is. I don't want to lose these. I could even put one on her shoulder. Well, I'll just leave it there. Oh, my hands are awful blue. I'm going to put this one down too because I'm afraid it's going to come up. I have to refill my bottle. Cute. We could have put a basket of apples there. Should I put the apples or should I put the little deer? <laughs> Seems kind of weird to put that with the zombies, doesn't it? <laughs> I think I'm just going to put the little a little basket of apples sitting down here. I'm not going to put the jewels. I'll save those.
I'll save the reindeer for another a little deer for another layout. I've had them like forever. I think ever since they came out with these, I've had these. All right, and then for Bell. What's in that bottle? This bottle here, this is Glossy Accents. This one here is um, Quick Dry. That's this. The Scotch, Quick Dry. And then um, this one is great because your Glossy Accents, it never gets clogged. As long as you keep the lid on it. <laughs> um, and they have these at Scrap Dab Do. That's where I got mine. But they're great for that. All right, so now for Belle. Let me put Belle on here. Oh, her little rose is falling off. So I think Belle will also put here. Should I put there or should I put down here? I'll put it here. Yeah, you do need more than one. I need another one myself. So this is a bell jar. What happened to that little rose that fell off? Did you see where it went? So we could either stick the candlestick. Let's see, what do we have? We have the, oh, there's the rose. Popped off. You could pretend like she has the rose. She's holding the rose behind her back. Maybe we'll do that. Um, I really like to use the candle guy. But I don't think I have enough any place to put it. I don't want that on there, Disney. Let's see. We stand them up here. Yeah, for glossy accents, it's perfect. Uh, I wouldn't do, uh, I always love the glossy accents. So I think we will put the rose, keep losing that little rose behind her here. Like she's holding the rose. Put that behind her there. Doesn't seem right, do it, does it? Put these cute little Disney characters with um, the zombies. My girlfriend said she she doesn't really care for Disney, so she said she's she loved seeing them um, kill them off. <laughs> there. That looks cute. Cute in a sick way, doesn't it? <laughs> These two little girls, I missed the other girl. She's got cut off here, but they were like twins. They were something too, but I don't know what. But it seems so weird to dress like your little four-year-old, like a zombie, <laughs> doesn't it? It's like not right. So I don't know. Let's stick this other rose. We could probably put this rose in her hair. I'll just leave it there for now because I have to color her all up. So, but this piece came out cute, didn't it? Cute for zombies. <laughs> you have to like Disney princesses. <laughs> well, you'll be able to make these now, Dawn. I think this would make a great, cute little um, Disney book with all the different um, characters. I did her in pink for Sleeping Beauty and then uh, Mulan. I didn't get a picture. They had the mermaid there. I missed her and I think they had Mulan there. So hopefully next year I'll do that. Get those pictures. So, Alright, so let's see where we are now. This is the beginning. Well, we have 20 minutes so let's see what we're going to do next. So here we go. Oh, let me show you how to do the broom. That's what I want to show you. And that's real quick. So all you need is just a, um, a skewer, a barbecue skewer. And I just cut it in half. And then I just took some DMC floss. I didn't have any black. 
So I took the brown and then I sprayed it with my Prima Spray, the black. So it's like black, black and brown. And then you just need a little piece of wire, which I thought I had here, yeah. And so all I'm going to do is take this. And then you can make the broom as long or as big as you want. So it's about right. And then all you're going to do is just take your wire. And I wrap the broom kind of like all around it. And then you're just going to wrap that around. And you could paint the bottom of this so it doesn't show so much. And then I cut the top of that off. So there you are. So that's just how to make your own little broomstick. And that's the one that she's carrying here on her back, on her, behind her. So pretty easy. Just your DMC floss, a little piece of wood, and then just some wire. Make your own little broom. So, all right, so let's see where we are now. So we have this. We have our little witch. Wish, <laughs> witch. <laughs> oh, where's my little paper? Oh, where'd it go? Here it is. I really wanted to use that. That's what this was. This was um, paper house, and so it, and this was the back part of it. So I just decided to use this. So I am gonna. Um, I'll probably put just some washi tape. I'll um, add some paper to the back of this, and add some washi tape here, and then just close it, open and close. So so that's that page. Let me go on to here. And then here's my little, you can see there's a little bat there flying around. And it's stuck in the little web there. I move this so we have some room. So and that's my acrylic piece, my tree. And then we have that. I have to glue this down. It keeps getting, keeps coming up. The Alice. And we just did our Snow White pages. And then this is the zombie bride, of course, with our mirror, mirror that comes on up like that. Oh, you can see my shelf there with the steampunk. Um, <laughs> see it? There's the doll border. You can see it in the mirror. <laughs> it's on the top there. <laughs> so, and then this is the page I haven't decided what I want to do yet. So I'm just going to leave it loose for now. Oh, we have our bat pages. We still have our jar bottles we have to put on here. And then we also have the back. So, so let's do the back. So on this one, we're going to use our jar that we did earlier. It's still not quite dry. It's going to take a while to dry. But I think I want to do this. And then I'll put a picture here. Let's see what do I have. I wanted to use the, one of the baby ones. So I can use either this one from last year. Or where's the other one I had? There were sensor Dawn where I don't see it. Or I can use this one. So let's see. If I stick this, I don't really like that because you can't really see the baby too much. So I think I'm going to go with this one. Let's see if this is opens. So we could tuck it in there. So I need to cut this down. I can move this over just a little. So where's my pencil? Oh, and then we could put the chain on, and then we'll be pretty much done except for those two pages. Um, all right, so I want to get my face. I want to get my face in there. So I'm gonna do it here and cut a little piece off of here. Oh, 
can see I'm just cutting the picture tad. So let's see, just stick that under there. Stick it there. So let me just put a glue dot for now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going, Mickey. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Don't forget to check, check my blog next week. So this way you get a chance to um, win some of the things. And like I said, um, I'll get better at doing the projects so that I do them like with you guys instead of just doing like them ahead of time. So we have this. Like that. And then I'm going to put something on the edge here. Oh, and then I'll show you how much we have left. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a glue dot on here. So I'm going to add a glue dot on this. One there. And one there. That. And then I can put my score tape right on that. Okay, Lane, thanks for coming. We're almost done. Uh, score tape. So I'm just going to put that right along the bottom. right here like that and then we need some type of wording so we can stick a little bat on here too let's see let's stick my little bat on the corner I think up on here or I could stick a spider. Should I do the spider instead? I think the spider. <laughs> it's hard to see further. There it goes. And then we just need something. So let me show you what, what the two projects that we had we've done. This is what we have left. And then I'll make some Halloween cards and post those. So in case you guys want to make some of that, but we did we did quite a bit with this um, with this collection. It's really a nice collection. And then I'll post the picture when I get um, uh, I'll post the whole all the pictures on my um, blog when I get it all done. So this is what we had left over from the sticker sheet. And then this was the, the front of the cover, which I thought I was going to use. And I still might use some of that for the background. But this is only all the paper we have left. We have the postcard. We have this. Some of this. Which is that. And I saved all the strips because they're great for cards. Even like this little strip. So really not too much paper left. Let's see where I cut that out. That. We have these little pieces left over. And then these two bigger pieces. And that's pretty much it. The rest of it is cardstock, which I used. And then um, from the sticker sheet, we used um, almost quite a bit of the sticker sheet. All I have left of the sticker sheet is this one. And then just this little bit. So I'll use this on the cards. 
And then for the chipboard, we use quite a bit of chipboard too. So, so that's pretty good for me because usually I have a lot left over after doing a collection. So I think we will use one of these pieces of chipboard. And I have that. So that's pretty much all we have left. So let's see. We could do the spell. All right, let me move some of this over here. I'll move the paper and we'll just work with the embellishments. So we could do this under your spell. We could put that on there like that. Or we could do, let's see what else do we have here. Oh, I have the big rose. I kind of like that. We could put the big rose on there. So we could do that. So like we spooky night, that one. You always forget about the stickers? Yeah. We did pretty good with the stickers, I have to say. And not too bad with the chipboard. Really not too much left of the chipboard. I mean, I really did use quite a bit. Um, like I could put some of these on the mats to pull out. So I could use that. We don't want to use this because we already, ah, we already have our one up there. So I really think I like the either this one, the delightful um, spooky night, or this one with the rose. What do you think? Do you like the rose? Or you can see, it's hard to see with the glass. The rose? Yeah, you like the rose? Me too. And put the label up here. This one. We could either do that or this one to break the line. This one's too big, I think. Let's see what else we have. I think definitely we'll do the rose. The label's too bright. So I think I might have to put this on some pop dots. So let's see. Let's ink the edges. I'm going to have to put um, a pop dot underneath there. <clears throat> I think that's I think that'll do it for this page, really. I think that'll that's gonna be it. Yeah. So I like the way the back looks now. I always like to do something in the back just because everybody always leaves it so plain. I don't know. I always like to put like some type of little surprise in the back. So on my books, you'll always find something in the back. <laughs> So, and the last thing is the chain. What I need to do is get some brads, which I tried to look for before I couldn't find. But I did punch a hole, so I'm going to put a hole here, and there's a hole up here. So the chain will be up here. So this will be on there, and then it's going to wrap around, and then it will close. It'll close. I have to cut these mats down, too, but it'll close just like this. Oops. Let me show you. I have to fix this little spider is stuck. And I have to tighten that up too. But this little spider dangles down like that. See the little spider? And then this will close the book like this. So I'll just, just tighten that up. So it'll go like that. And then the chain will come back here and hold the, the book. So it'll close just like that with the little fang teeth <laughs> so that's pretty much it you guys have any questions and then like I said for the binding um, this is a pretty big binding it's almost I think I want to say like three inches three and a half I don't know where my ruler is 
but I'm going to either um, put like a ribbon to crisscross or some, um, but you see how the different sizes are? Like I like that I used a half inch. Then these are quarter, but this one's a little bit more than a quarter here. And then these are quarter. I like the way that you can um, do the different sizes for the pages so you don't have the um, alligator mouth. See how nice it closes? It's all nice and even. It doesn't really, um, it doesn't flare out like that. So. It was a fun album. I wish it would have taken a little bit longer to do it, but um, I'll know next year. I definitely do have to have my like Halloween project done by the end of August so that we can work through it through September. Um, but I'll have to work on that. The Christmas um, project will be a lot better. I think that will you know I can show it to you. And then um, don't forget you can get the PDF file um, from me um, on my blog. And then um, make sure no class next Wednesday, but do check my blog. I will be giving away one of the Cauldron um, albums with this paper. So it'll be one of these albums using the arsenic and lace. And then I will put all the things that, um, that we didn't use in this a zombie one. I'll put the Frankenstein. I will put the witch's boots, all that kind of stuff. So... Yeah, the, I love the closure. I think it's really cute with the little fang tooth, especially with all those zombies and their fangs. So, <laughs> so any other questions? And don't forget, I think Ash said that she might stream next Wednesday, so just check Facebook for that. So this way you guys will have um, Ash to watch. I think she's working on her Halloween book. I think she's also using the um, arsenic and lace. Um, and I love her little trick of the spider going across the page. It's really cute. So, um, I think that's about it. I won't be able to be at Catherine's in the afternoon, but I will be there in the night. And then, um, off the weekend, there'll be Kathy. I don't know if she's streaming at 2 or her regular time, I'm not sure. So, just be sure to check them out. And then Gwen's working on her <clears throat> dog and cat album, I think. Um, and then, I don't know if Jen's streaming tomorrow, but... Yep, just check Facebook. Scrappy Dabby Doo will have um, a calendar. You can check all that out. <clears throat> Thanks for Dawn and uh, Janny for modding. <clears throat> and Barry. I don't know where she is. Oh, there she is. <laughs> um, any other questions? <clears throat> and then um, after this show, I'll go ahead and post the sneak peek of the tree so you guys could get a, those of you who missed it, you can go back and look at it. Um, but that'll be our project for... Um, the next couple weeks. Thanks, Fairy Floss. It was fun. I really liked working on this book. I just wish I didn't have to do it so fast. I wish it would have taken a little bit more time, but but I really like how it came out. So it's really cute. Nice and chunky. I like how it just stands up. <clears throat> so you can just leave it on a table. And I like the way that when you do stand it up, how you can see all the different princesses. So like when you you can leave it open so that you could see the the bride and Snow White. It's hard to show you that way. But you know, when it's opened up, it looks pretty cool. It's almost like you're looking inside each room. So, you're there. I see you, Barry. I'll be talking to you in a few. Thanks, Linda. Well, thanks, everyone. So, um, I will see you in two weeks on the 22nd, and that's when we will start our Christmas project. We'll be working on a Christmas banner. It'll say Believe. Um, but you'll have all that information uh, probably next week on uh, what, what the paper line is, everything that we're using. So, so it was fun. I really enjoyed working on this. Um, I hope some of you give it a try. Um, it'll be great to see. <laughs> all right. Have a good two weeks, and I will see you on the 22nd. Bye.